I turn now to the question of what we should be versus what we are exporting. I'll start with what we should be. Um, here I rely not entirely on my own judgment, but also on what I learned during doing the research for this book. My research involved in-depth conversation with scores of thoughtful observers around the world, from diplomats in the US and Europe, to TV producers in Turkey, students in Egypt, media moguls in the Arab Emirates, Bollywood directors in India, academics and media officials in China, and a few CEOs, including the entrepreneur who introduced McDonald's to Indonesia. On several occasions, these interlocutors described to me the type of American they most admired. The picture was remarkably consistent. The beautiful American, as opposed to the ugly one, is an unpretentious man or woman who believes in solving problems and does so not by dictating a solution from on high, but by working in an upbeat, intelligent way with others treated as equals. At the same time, the beautiful American possesses practical wisdom, both in the realm of technology and in the very different realm of politics. This practical wisdom is the fruit of a long development in British and American political institutions. It is not a utopian dream of revolution or of saving the world. Rather, it is an attempt to work as constructively as possible given the waywardness of human nature, what Kant called the crooked timber of humanity. <clears throat> 